Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! G'day guys, I'm Bushka yeah. and today I'm going to be talking to you about playing with high ping. My experience with high ping is extensive. I mean, you can see the bottom left of the screen, it says 274, right? The reason I'm so experienced playing with high ping is because I'm Australian. And living in Australia means you've oh, just got horrific I, I so, internet. So, so long after. That's McDingling. <laughs> McDingling and I are struggling on this day. Yeah. It's particularly bad, and we're both laughing about it realistically because there's nothing you can do. It doesn't matter how much you do in terms of your drop shots, your weapon switches. You can only minimize bad ping so much before it catches up with you, right? And particularly <laughs> like on the Asian server where they just go rah, 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 and aggressively push you. There's not much you can do. And this is something else like you'll see when you knock someone and there's like a huge gap between when you finish shooting and when they fall over. Um, you'll also die from zero, from like 100 to zero, like that all the time. These are signs that your ping is not good. You lose these 50-50 engagements. That's the key, like where you get around the corner and you face the target and you still fall over. It's like a revolver shot or you're running up the stairs like this and you'll just drop down. And this is a real problem. There are ways to play on high ping where you will be a better player or not so much a better player, but you can you can play better with high ping because be honest, like if you've playing on 20 ping and this stuff is happening to you constantly, then you're experiencing a whole lot of packet loss. What you're really looking at when you're playing on Asia is a lot of rounds that don't count or on any server really. Rounds that don't count, like putting lots of damage in, the guy doesn't fall over. And that's... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is me and Ding. It's like dealing with the same crap. Right. How can you... How can you, you deal with it? Well, I'm going to let you watch this. This is very, very funny. And this is going to give you a big clue as to why hyping is so difficult to play with. The server thinks I am somewhere completely different to my team. So I got like 200 ping right now. And it knocks both my teammates and then thirsts them as well. How nice is that? Thirsts awesome. them and knocks them. And I don't take a skerrick of damage. No damage whatsoever, right? And that's because the server thinks, regardless of where I am on my screen, the server thinks I am somewhere else. Because the signal is taking so long to get to the server that it, like, you see where I'm getting hit there? Where I'm not. It's where I'm not that is going to be the bane of your existence if you're playing with high ping. So, You've got to try and minimize that. And you can't do this perfectly because there's just no real way of substituting for a good connection. But I'm going to show you an example here and of the way you've got to play and it still won't work. Watch how quick this peak is. There was no way. They didn't pre-fire the wall. They At first, you're like, oh, they're cheating. That's bullshit. When it happens to you all the time. But... I'll show you from their perspective, right? And, and then I'll point out to you exactly what's going on. This guy's rolling in. According to the server, I've moved out with this perfect little peak like that where I round one round. Like you can see, there's like five rounds on the wall there. And I am moving all the way out to my left. In the server's eyes, I'm still moving out to my left. On their screen, because they're closer to the server, there, I'm moving out to the left, right? And then you'll see sometimes that warping, that rubber banding. That's when the server catches up to where the player actually is. But if you're already knocked when that happens, it doesn't make any difference. So what you've got to do is be really passive almost with the way you take these engagements. You've got to be very frugal and you can't get thirsty for damage. When your ping is up, right, you've got to sometimes rely more on your teammates and not try and just trade because trading's good when you're trading hit points at an even level. But if you're losing, like watch how many times I reset the angle on these guys. How many times I pull back, even though I've got plenty of rounds there and I've got plenty of time and I could just be standing there showering them in. I don't even ADS because ADSing 
is going to slow down my movement and it's going to make it more likely that I'm visible on their screen. I'm just basically taking shots and then drop shotting, getting back up, moving on with life and doing it that way. And this might seem annoying to you. And we're going to talk about snaking in just a second, right? It, because I think I need to really acknowledge the fact that snaking is a part of the game that I don't like, but there's a lot of people who snake because of their ping and their device. I mean, you'll see there's a snake here. One of the things that you're going to note from this engagement, and this is actually one of the few times you'll see me lie down and fire while I'm lying down, this little bit here. Like, I never do this, which is so... I can't believe I did that. I never really do. What I usually do is lie down and then stand up to shoot. Like this, watch. Because I just... I hate the idea of snaking, right? But what I'm doing is resetting the connection with the server every single time. So making sure that the server knows I am in cover and that I have reset that connection and that I am actually safe. And you're going to see there's some rocks there in the middle and I'm going to stay near the rocks I keep ducking, I keep ducking. You've got to be doing this if you're playing on a high ping. And I'm on 200 milliseconds playing here. And this is, you know, getting seven, eight kills on 200 ping, getting squad wipes on 200 ping. It's, it's more difficult, right? It's way more difficult. People will carry on about how it's unfair to play against guys with high ping. It's such bullshit. Like, I've played in events and I've played scrims and things with people where it's gone to an Asia server um, room instead of a North American server room. And a lot of the guys that I know have complained about dealing with high ping players are going nuts to have like 150 ping, 180 ping. They're losing their minds. You watch guys like Fates. Fates is honestly one of the most impressive players I've ever seen because he plays on ping that is higher than the other guys that he's playing against all the time. And he is so successful doing it. Um, watch, this is such a great example of this. Even at 130, 140, as I strafe in and strafe back out, all the damage I take is behind cover, right? It's just how it is. It's something you've got to get used to and you've just got to acknowledge. And it becomes worse when your device is under load. So you've got to stay not thirsty, right? And you've got to keep resetting your cover, resetting your cover. And if possible, you need to stay close to your cover, whether it's a house, a rock, a ridge line, a car, a bush, whatever it is, you've got to you've got to find some way to reset that cover. Uh, let's talk a little bit about snaking. If you're a player that doesn't have a good device and you also have crappy ping, like I do, you are going to find that snaking is a bit of a cure-all for this. Snaking is just not a fun way to play the game for me. Everyone does it at the start, but a lot of people will just do it forever. And I understand that. That's fine. That's their prerogative. It annoys me when I die to snakes because I think it's a really broken mechanic that the game shouldn't have. But a lot of players with high ping are, are snaking because they just can't get it any other way. Um... They've both got high ping and low end devices. They're running at 30 frames per second if they're lucky. And they just want to play the game. And to do that, you're going to have to snake. Like, I don't like snaking. And you can see I take the game far less seriously than most. Um, because I've played so many thousands of PUBG mobile games. But honestly, if you're watching this and you've got a crappy device and you've got high ping, snake. Like, you've got to snake. It's one of the things that you need to do to stay alive. And I'll often find in the last couple of circles, it's generally players who often they don't have good skins and they don't have good devices and they don't have good ping and they're just sucking it up and, and dealing with it as best they can. And it slows down. Like if this becomes your gameplay style, I do think it makes you a less effective gunfighter and that's fine if that's what you're forced to do. But... It's not for me, right? But I understand that this is a very valid play style for people who are willing to to do it, okay? You'll see I'm, I'm constantly getting in the car and trying to get angles and, and see where people are. And I want to have a gunfight. I don't want to shoot while I'm lying down. I'll, I'll always 
generally like 99.99% of the time when I shoot, I'm standing up, okay? Or I'm crouched, but I'm not lying down. And look, basically, I just want to make this video something that will explain to newer players especially why they're dying the way they are and why they're having the issues they are with the game and how frustrating that can be and how they can maybe save themselves a few hit points in a gunfight that can turn a loss into a win because it really is a difficult game to play at best of times and it's a much more difficult game to play when you are struggling to um, deal with your latency because latency is a real thing I'm Bushka. Look after yourselves. If you like it, share the videos, uh, let the humans know, and leave a comment, and maybe just subscribe. Until next time, bye for now.